Went to the hospital again this morning. There's been no change with Robert. He's still in danger. And I'm still not wishing him a speedy recovery, if that's what you're hoping. Andy, that's a terrible thing to say. After the things he did to me and Katie. There's no point hoping that I'm ever going to forgive him for that. But all that bitterness can't change anything now. It's just going to eat you up. You know, you can be honest with me. Is that why you check yourself into the unit? Like I said, things just got on top of me. Are you thinking of ending it all again? Look, I've got kids. People that depend on me. That's why I have to find a way through it. That's why I check myself in. Hey, all right, mate. I was relieved when I heard you were back. Got to go. What did I say? No, it's not you. It's just in a really dark place at the minute. Yeah. I must be halfway to get his head around everything that's happened. I just think it could be a while before we get the old Andy back. Secrets have a habit of getting out, don't they? What do you mean? Me telling the police about Chrissy threatening to kill Robert. You only told them what she said. But I knew she didn't mean it. And I told them about the gun. Kay reckons I did the right thing, though, because it'll stop them sniffing around Aaron. Right. But he doesn't think Aaron had anything to do with the shooting, does he? No, he's just glad he's in the clear. Yeah, I think we all are. Guess so. Even though I'm not sure he's right about Aaron being innocent. You what? You don't believe Aaron shot him? I hope to God I'm wrong. But there's just far too many things that don't add up, and he certainly had more reason than anyone to want him dead. Aaron would never have taken that shot. Not with you standing so close. Wouldn't he? Well, that depends how much he hated Robert. And from what I've heard him say, then nothing would have stopped him pulling that trigger. But where have you been? We're supposed to be doing this film. Right, well, I'm here now. So, uh, where do you want me? Just here? Yeah, yeah go on. Right. Hi, Johnny. So, this is the cafe where you can get Brenda's legendary bats. There you are. And this is Uncle Aaron. Yes, Aaron, get in, lad. Oh, um, when are them scrap cars being collected again? Friday? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I've got to get off. <laughs> Someone's keen to get back to work. Yeah. You're right. Sorry, um, how's Johnny doing? Uh, he's doing really well, yeah. The, the doctors are pleased with the progress that he's making. That's great news. Is there any chance you could keep me updated with it all? Yeah, yeah, it's the least we can do after the way you helped Vanessa, so. All right, cheers, I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, it's really nice that you can be like that with him. Nah, it's good for Johnny, isn't it, that we all get on? Yeah, of course it is. And this is going to remind him of what a top dad he's got. Right, so come on, because I'm sure there's loads of other places that we can film. I realise I should have reported it sooner. Then why didn't you? I, I didn't think I'd be believed. Everyone knows how I feel about the woman. You hold her responsible for your wife's death? I believe she wanted to kill her husband, too. And she said as much the, uh, the night he was shot. And you're willing to give a statement to that effect? I realise it's my public duty. Right, then. I need to know when and where you're claiming she said this. Right. Um, it was um, outside the village hall a short while before he was shot. Um, she'd, uh, she'd been drinking, and, and it was obvious that she was hiding something. I think it was a gun. A gun? The more I go over it in my mind, I'm sure. Where did she go after this conversation? She, um, she went behind the, the houses, um, uh, behind um, a take a vow. And you're quite sure it was her? Oh, no, positive. Why? <laughs> did she say anything different? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Doesn't want to incriminate herself, does she? Well, she's certainly got a few more questions to answer. <laughs> 